Welcome to the map Forts of Brunin 2 in BFME 1 on the page 2.22 for a video commentary in a one-on-one -on -one matchup between good and evil. Isengard versus Rohan. Okay, so the peasants are marching forward and the Uruks are sprinting forward. The Hobbit will try to buy the settlement over here. And we have a Uruk pit, furnace opening for Isen and obviously double farm opening for Rohan. We'll also recruit more peasants. The Hobbit has to buy this as soon as possible. He's buying it, but now he needs to... Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. That's minus 200, bro. Oof. That's a big ouchie right there, man. That's a big ouchie right there. Okay, that's. A, I like this pathing, though. That he's going all, all the way around. But the builder, not the builder, the worker, is scouting this. So he's able to see them coming now. Remember, he didn't use Warchan yet. And he's kind of blocking the settlement over here. But in order to win this uh, fight against the peasant and against the hobbit, you need to actually use Warchant. Otherwise, the peasant and the hobbit combination is going to be super annoying to deal with. But he needs to use Warchant here. He's repairing this lumber mill, but I don't think it's going to help. The lumber mill will be destroyed. And all of that thanks to the crazy pathing from the Rohan player Rangel. Very well done here. Doing unexpected stuff might and will work out. Oh my god, but he was feeding the Hobbit here. Level 2 Hobbit, almost level 2 Peasant 2. That's not very good. That's a good start for I, for Rohan. I mean, kinda, but he lost 200 at the beginning of the game. So keep that in mind, please. The Peasant should not be able to deal the, with the Uruks, with Warchant. The Uruks. They are just built different. So it looks like when I go for the creep here with the Hobbit level 2, should not be a big deal to do this. And Isengard needs to be more careful, you know? Because more and more peasants are coming from everywhere. The creep should not be contested anytime soon by the Isengar player. And it means the peasant will hit level 2. And the hobbit will eventually hit level 3. If he positions them well behind the peasants. And he will get one more settlement. So more food bonus, more eco, or cheaper horses. 510, but when this is built up, it's gonna cost only 480. Watch this. Boom. But the Uruks are coming, boys. Can they do this? Warchan is on cooldown. The creep will be taken by the peasants. But the money goes to Aizen. Okay, that's a good trade. And the peasants are badly damaged, so that means they will not be doing anything here. The Hobbit was getting disclosed. And now the Uruks are looking to bring the Hobbits back to Isengard. Need to run. The cloak is reloading. 15 seconds cooldown. So you need to use the normal formation. But it looks like the Hobbit will get away. So the farm might be getting destroyed. But it looks like he won't... Ooh. Okay. I, I don't know about that one, to be honest. He can just use the wall formation and use Warchant. I would use Warchant here, by the way. Yeah. Bad trample now. Actually, good trample. He's pressing S and doesn't commit. That's beautiful. And Aizen should be able to creep this now with these two Uruks. But he needs to move this Uruk to this location as soon as possible. That's the base from Aizen. He has a good-looking base. Uruk pit level 2. Pikeman will be there very soon. This creep will be taken by the Rohirrim warriors. But the money, once again, never mind. This time not. The Hobbit will get one tapped by the pikemen. Pikemen are not a joke. The Uruks will be able to finish the creep, no problemo. And after the first couple of minutes into the game, we have one power point for Angel, the Rohan player. One and a half, actually. And Mordor, not Mordor. His name is Mordor, but he's playing Aizen. Has two power points. Hold on a second. Oh, he got the creep too. That's beautiful, actually. Holy, and he will get the money as well. Oh my god, that's like the cream, the la cream, boys. It's the cream de la cream, and he has gotten lots of power points. He went for the heal, but he will still eventually get the power points he needs for the Alvin Summon because there are still plenty of creeps left on the map Forts of Brunin 2. But it's a good looking beast. Holy guacamole. Industry on the front one, I would use it on this one. It's level 2, it will give you more money and will help it to reach level 3 faster. This mill has been taken down. Rowan has full beast. This is gonna be safe for the for the armory. We shall win this day, boys. Towering up, I like it. Towers very cheap, and will you know one tower a day will keep the doctor away. You know, <laughs> okay. The berserker doing what his job is, killing those peasants. Take this peasant, boom. And more peasants are coming. It's I think you don't need to stop recruiting peasants at all in this matchup until you see works. Just be recruiting more of them all the time. And they will be so annoying to deal with, you know? 
We hear the Rohan King joining the battlefield. There we go. And he has the power points almost for the Elven Summon. He should be getting this by creeping this Walklayer at the top right corner. And besides that, we have actually no more creeps left on this map. Be careful here with the pikemen, the berserker, or the works should be able to handle this, no problemo. Eisen is to one power point after the industry. The creep will be taken. You want to leave this to Theorin though. So he gets very close to level 3, but he didn't do it, unfortunately. You know, investing into your heroes early game is always going to be rewarded in the mid to late game. When this dude gets level 4, the Glorious Charge can be a game-changing ability. Okay, we need Lourdes actually, or we need Sharku. I think Lourdes is better, overall better hero. Ooh, he didn't swap to the Porcupine Formation. That's a mistake, sir. Lots of peasants coming non-stop. I like that. But now it will be not that effective anymore because he has works upon the field. He's going actually for too many work riders. I think three should be more than enough. Then you want to demolish this and go for the armory. He's going for Lurza. That's also good. Be careful to not feed power points. But he does already have the power points he needs. So he has elves plus the tearing combination. Which is pretty strong. Level two. Armor building up. And I think he has also shields. Or he will have shields. That's going to be great. Okay. So if you if you can afford it, wait for the Forge Blades. This way, your push is going to be way better. Okay, but three Rohirrim with shields and Tyrion leadership. Or four Rohirrim with shields and Tyrion leadership. And potential Elven summon. With the damage boost they will receive from Tyrion being nearby. That's going to be difficult. Sir, that's going to be difficult. Towering up though, towering up, building every possible tower, that comes the Elven Summon. Ooh, okay, beautiful trample, immediately with the Warchant whole combination, pretty much chunking them, they lost so much HP out of that. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I mean, to be honest, that's not the best Elven Summon of the history, <laughs> I need to tell you that much. That comes the heavy armor. Lourdes exposed. Lourdes. He's gonna get in safety. Remember, when there is a Lourdes, this Theoden has to be careful because there are no more elves remaining beside this tree. Two. Heal is gonna be used. Cripple. Cripple. He's gonna use Cripple now. Boom. And no more elves to protect the King of Rohan. The Pike should just run to the to the king now. But the. Oof, oof. That's gonna be massacre, boys. That's gonna be massacre, boys. Run into my aid. He can't get away there, can he? He can't. I told you. And Lourdes didn't die though. That's good. But the uh, Uruk pit got destroyed. But during all this time, take a look into the minimap, you know? The Vorks were able to clean a lot through the bottom side. So he has their a Lumber Mill, their a Lumber Mill, and their a Lumber Mill. So he gets a good eco. He has four Lumber Mills in total. That's almost a full wood bonus. You need five in total to get the maximum discount. But he has four. I mean, that's pretty good still. You know, I like four. Okay. Spear Saul. Theodine King has been killed. And he was level three too. That means you need to invest one minute and 15 seconds. The big boost coming from after level four. He will need a whole more minute to be revived, actually. The Vorks are trampling. No problemo. And Rohan will be strong with the Rohirrim. With heavy armor, forge bleeds, and the shields. It's a very strong combination. But at some point of the game, he needs to literally swap to the Rohirrim Archer combination. That's very important, too. Because, oh, he's selling them. Getting some money in return. That's good. Lourdes back to full HP. Armory has purchased every upgrade for the, for the Isengard faction. That's pretty good. This base is looking so good, man. I like the Isengard. I think the Isengard castle is the most sexy castle, actually. From all the castles. The Vork Riders. <laughs> I mean, that's scary, though. That he needs only half a level for the Glorious Charge. That's going to be super scary. And he keeps making more peasants. Three power points against six almost. So Isengard could go for the devastation if he really wants to. That will help him to get to Saruman a bit faster, to get upgrades a bit faster. But again, overall, it will delay your freezing rain by a lot, by four power points in total. 
and this will snowball. You know, the power point advantage means a lot in the mid game, but it does even mean more in the lead game. When the player who gets to unlock EOD first, or the player who gets to unlock Balrog first, is actually a huge advantage. Because the summons, if nothing else, can create for you a huge momentum, which can literally snowball into a victory, you know? Aizen's eco not looking too hot. Combos. You wanna have the pikeman crossbowman combination against Rohirrim. Especially when they are very close to the glorious charge. That's very important. Archer range for the fire arrow. Then he will demolish it potentially and go for the uh, stable. For the Rohirrim archer. Again, not protected. It's a mistake. You wanna always protect your settlement with your uh, pikeman. New Labyrinths, get to work. We get we get to hear that a lot actually. They are spamming workers all over the place. That comes the Alvin summon. Um and that's that pikeman is a goner. Okay. You see that, that's what I'm talking about. When you please the elves, when there is a Theorin next to them, they are just dealing way more damage and they also become way more tanky. Okay. But Isengard is not done yet. This game isn't over yet. That comes to Warchant. The Vorks are trampling into the sword mode, which will make them pretty much immune to the tra trample. They will deal some revenge damage in the turn. Eoma, almost level 2. Will be a long time for the investment. You need to invest lots of time to get him to level 4. Pikes are rotating. And this Aizen needs to just spam a bit more pikes. Now, it might be a little bit too late now because he will have Rohirrim Archers very soon. But he had the time to do this, you know? Rohan got just unnecessary amount of money for absolutely no reason. No fire arrows. Poor. Where is Lourdes at? Lourdes level almost 2. But that, you know, he, he still needs a lot to get to level 5. That's a very power, uh, very important power spike for the captain of the Uruks. Rain and we have Legolas, the prince of the Mirkurels. Would you look at that? I like this guy, man. Legolas. Look at this cutie. He looks so, he looks so feminine, though, right? He's like one of these guys, unlike you and me, who make skincare, you know? Like putting cream on his face, sleeping always nine hours a day, you know? <laughs> Washing his face multiple times a day. Oof. And shooting out of, out of uh, vision. Level 3, demolishing. Holy moly. Just like in the films. Legolas. We just hear that actually. New laborers, get to work. <laughs> okay, that is a Hobbit. Outpost control, two of them actually. And again, like mentioned before, it was demolished. The archer range. Now he will swap to the Rohirrim archer army. Level 5, level 6. Pretty strong Rohirrim, Three, two of them level 5, one of them level 6. They are pretty, pretty strong with almost the end summon 2 from the spellbook. Aizen can't really do much, he needs to just camp it out and eventually hold his ground. Hobbit, the brave warrior of the Chire is no more. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you can't commit to this with the Vorks, that's not possible. You need to bring your pikemen there. Oof, what a shot. Ooh, the fire all upgraded Yeoman Archers. Ooh, he's crippled. Does he have Warchant? Yes, he does. Okay. Ooh, trample, 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 rain. You need to move out of the land, boy. The weather has been demolished. He should not demolish the land, by the way, there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kill the Flurts? No, he healed, but it did. He healed a little bit too late. There are still... Oh, my God. The rain and land, really? Then that makes your rain completely useless, actually. And your archers are getting killed. Only pikemen remaining from the combo horde. But Legolas has been killed though. And Lego actually Lutz was able to get lots of experience during this fight too. He needs only one more level for the level 5. That's pretty dope. I like that one. Um, Saruman is required. He has almost the money for it. It's gonna be great. Lutz is a permanent killing hero. When he's level 6, he will also unlock the pillage. Which, oh my god, he killed him. Which will also make you grow rich, you know? One more level needed. Yoma. You can also die, actually. 
I, for, I didn't see that one coming. Legolas will have to be revived. Rohirrim Archer. The game is kind of getting now a little bit in the favor of Aizen. I'm not really though, because Rohan is still the one who is kind of dominating the map control. What Aizen needs to do is um, destroy this outpost as soon as possible. Now you have a land in front of the outpost. What you can do with your army is you rotate to this outpost, uh, to this land, and you fight here. You can literally sit here with Warchant. You have armor from the land and your enemy can't commit to you because here they will have no leadership. No, okay? Saruman, the great wizard of our time. Reveal yourself. Very strong hero. Armor leadership. Um, ability to change the game with the warm tongue. But there is a Legolas. Legolas is a hero killer and a good investment for the late game Rohan because he can be used to kill Lurtz or Saruman in a very fast way from a really long and safe distance too. Look how many heroes he has. Hobbit, Legolas and Eoma plus Theorin. The Warp Riders. Fireball? Nah, won't do it. You know what's also a deadly combination? You cripple and fireball. That's a good combination because fireball also deals a lot of damage to the heroes. In Legolas, especially, is a very weak hero. He has only 11, 1100 health. That's not a lot, you know. That's really not a lot. I mean, this guy has already 1550. That's also a very squishy hero, you know. Okay, a potential base rush. Level 3 Yeoman destroying the pikemen. There comes the. Alvin summon to deal with the pikeman, but he can just run away. He will run away. Land will be used. And instantly covered by Aizen. No, he can't. He will do it potentially. He has to do it though. Level. Oh my god, level 8 Rohirrim. He's gonna cover the land. Here, what you wanna do is you wanna aim on the Rohirrim arches with your towers. It's a very important furnace. Oh my god. <laughs> the Vork riders are coming. Cripple. He should have moved to the cripple. But the army from Rohan is so strong now. Holy moly. Okay. Vortran has been used. That means he really can't commit to this. Because here they have so much leadership, right? They have Theodin leadership, Stichu behind, and the well is perm perma recovering them. And he's very close to level 4 too. Like, needs to kill a couple of workers, Lumberman workers, and he will get the Glorious Charge. That's gonna be dope. That's gonna be dope. Don't commit there. Fireball him. Fireball him. Bed trample. Oh my god. Oh, what are you doing? No way! It's a 4 minute and 30 seconds cooldown wasted for absolutely no reason. By the way, if you don't know, if this guy level is level 4, he will unlock the train archers, which also will work on the Rohirrim archers. So you can level them up. And this can also be working with the King's Fever. So you can you have like two abilities that can be used over and over again to level up your archer army. Oof, what a shot. They fly like brothers. Okay, this outpost has been taken down. But now he has to return. Oh my god. Oof, the Uruk bit once again exposed. He's demolishing the structures. Rohan has 8 power points. He can go for the end summon if he wants to. Big fight, big fiesta, big commitment. Prohirim Archer Army is looking super strong. Beautiful trample. And still no glorious charge. Even though he's so close to it. But yet he didn't get it there. Theorin, maybe there we go. Okay, glorious charge. We gotta keep an eye on that one, boys. Legola, um, Eoma is also level three and a half, and that will be like the ultimate late game Rohan. Only piece of Exodia is Aragorn. He's missing, and he will have to invest two power points to turn Aragorn the Grey into the Aragorn the White. Almost. Anduril for Aragorn is as important as the Gandalf the White for Gandalf. I will restore hope to men because he will restore hope to men. He's very squishy when he has no under his sword. Aragorn, Arton's son. Oof. Oh my god, no, 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 no! What a trample! Level almost 5 pikemen! I mean, I'm, I'm kind of sad that I didn't swap to the Isengard power points during this trample. I think he got like 2 power points there, Loki. Aragorn's so slow. He got under his sword. Ron has 10 power points, but not investing into anything. He has the chance to go for the ends, or he can go for the Anduril and then for the Cloudbreak. 
Level 3, level 3, level 2. It's a big army though, in the base. We have also Eowyn up on the field. That's a good uh, technology, by the way. When you see um, Saruman, you can use Smite, Hoax Strike, and, sm and also Spear Throw from Eoma. It will chunk Saruman big time. He will lose a lot of his HP. But Aizen needs to do something about the map control. Maybe Vorks, maybe. No Sharko all game long. Aragorn. Reen is available for the big fight. Here you can fight actually, you know. You go on the land, like mentioned before, you use War Chant. We have War Chant, Saruman, Lourdes, and land we have four leaderships, which will make your army super strong. Lourdes is not level 5 yet, but he should be getting there after this fight. Half a level needed. It's a very important leadership, very important, if not the most important leadership for Aizen. Because it's raw damage, you know. It looks like Rohan avoid, av is avoiding the fight. But there is a Rohirrim Archer army. Use Fireball there. Oof, son. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a juice. It was a juice, sorry. Level 5 almost, Legoras. The outpost will be just given up. You know, no contest there. He doesn't want to fight for this. He should fight for this, in my opinion. You at least want to fight until you can beat out the freezing rain. Then you can always dip. You know, just ditch. But until he is not forced to use rain, you can just st stand there and fight. We have also lots of leadership there. We have GC, Aragorn. You have the leadership, you know. But he oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, smite, smite. Ooh, I'm telling you. That's the combination there. The brothers and sisters of Rohan. He's going for the end summon. Ooh, he's gonna use it, right? Oof. Oof, 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 Lourdes level 5. What is Lourdes doing that? Oh my god. They are crippled, but how can you kill him? Land will be used, covered. Saruman is dead in a second. Lourdes. He will give them leadership. The ends will burn immediately. Don't trample into this. They are chasing Lourdes. Oh, Lourdes just run, 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 run. Oh my god, you don't want to trample into this Pike Mando with the Rohirrim Archers. He's feeding so many power points, but he's almost the UD from the spellbook. 16 power points for Aizen. The Aizen army is getting slaughtered from the forces of Fangorn Forest, just like in the films. This end is going down, giving lots of power points to Aizen. 17 against EOD. This end is going to burn to death. 17 and a half. Two and a half power points needed for the EOD, uh, for the Balrog. EOD has been already unlocked. And all the uh, heroes are remaining. That's very, very, very good. Did any hero die, actually? Nope. Aragorn didn't die. So did not Legolas. The Vorks can't really match the Rohirrim archers. That's what you need to understand. Saruman is getting revived. But he has EOD, man. Keep that in mind. No Gimli, though. Poor Gimli. Doesn't get any love. We might actually need to rework Gimli in a way in which he will always be recruited in every game. And the easiest and the most efficient way of doing this is giving Gimli leadership. The reason why nobody is going for Gimli is because he doesn't give leadership. If he would give leadership, trust me on that one, it would be a different situation, you know? It would be a different situation. New libraries. Saruman is back in the business. I mean... The problem is, if you have no outpost control with Aizen or Mordor against Gondor or Rohan, your, your Balrog can't win you the game. You need to take the outpost here and also here actually, for it to work. But Rohan is completely uh, dominating the map control. And he has EOD too. Like his EOD, GC, level 4 Eowyn, level 5 Eoma. So he has triple, uh, two, uh, triple leadership, you know, with the GC obviously. There comes the EOD, right? He's gonna go for it, right? Oh my god, he's gonna go for it. I knew it. Let's take a look into the power points as he's losing stuff. When Saruman dies, it's gonna be a big chunk. Boom. Okay. Just lose the army now. When Lourdes dies, it's over. He's trying to get away, but he can't. But he will get Balrog from this, at least, okay? Now we will at least see a big juice Balrog there. Do it. Oh, never mind. The, oh my god, the Rohirrim are way, way too fast. For death and glory. Right for ruin in the red. I mean, I can't, I don't know. Wait, I need to remember. 
Arise, arise, riders of Theodine. Oh my god, what a beautiful uh, breath fire, actually. Still not under the sword. Aragorn is a pleb, not under the sword. Pew! <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> Balrog. Ignore him and go for the structures. He's gonna summon, jump, jump on the elves. Aragorn is just low yoloing it. Lord is coming. Lord is like, hello, Aragorn. How are you, my friend? You think you wanna give him a laugh tab or something? Cripple him. Oh, but Balrog has no more time. He's gonna land on him a little bit. Kill him with the Lord. Oh my god, one more hit needed. Oh, but he healed him, did he? Nah, he did he actually heal him. And now the Alps will end Lourdes' life. No, Lourdes is actually gonna be. Never mind, he's gonna stop and die. Aragorn is now the Anduri sword. Now his damage is gonna be increased big time. Rohirrim the marches, shooting the heroes. I mean, Theorin was getting killed, but Elma was able to survive that. And that's gonna be the end of the game, boys. What a game, you know? Aizen was stalling it, but you see, I think that's. A perfect proof about the importance of the map control. Each faction is capable of beating any other faction, but the most important thing you need to focus on is always the map control. Control the map, you control the game, and the outcome of the game as well. As you know, anyways, GG, well played. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, Stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.